Hey everybody, Halloween is time for fun. And it's no fun unless you got somebody to play with. In this case, I am collaborating with Bree from Purple Pink Red. And we're doing some more of the Shop Your Stash and Create Friendly Masks that work for anybody. Kids, people with sensory issues, adults, doesn't matter. When we're finished here, go see Brie. Oh, really? Go see Brie. You don't want the goblins to get you while you're out at Halloween. Follow me. Hi, everybody. It's Anne. I'm back. And yeah, this is another one of my um, face mask routines. But this time, I have a collab. I'm collaborating with Brie from Purple Pink Red. She's wonderful. She's still just you know, fairly hung in new and all this other stuff and is so excited about doing things. I wish I could actually meet her. She's down in Australia. Which sometimes makes collaborations a little interesting. You gotta keep the timing just right. But, yes, I've got my face on because the mask doesn't really have anything to do with how you've got your face done. It's way simpler. And the only thing I'm really going to need just to do the base for it is a little bit of concealer. I'm using my white concealer because I like using my white concealer. You can use whatever color concealer you want to use. And I'm going to start kind of outlining the mask and if you want you can actually do multiple colors in the mask now some people would kind of refer to this as a domino. Some people would call it a bandit mask. Yes, I'm covering my eyebrows. Because the only thing that's really going to show through the eye hole is where I want you to be able to see the colors that I put on my eyes. Now if you want to get real spiff about it, you can go and find the material you want to use to outline with. Or, you can color it with whatever color you like. If you've got a gray or a black or a brown concealer that you want to use so that you've got some interesting contrast between the sides. You can do that too. Yes, I covered some of the eye makeup, but that's okay.
you can do whatever it is you want with this. And yes, I've got a brush in my hand because once I start getting out this way a little bit, instead of using the wand, I'm going to use the brush a little to kind of smooth out some stuff. So it looks a little more like fabric. Now if you carry it back over this way, you can actually carry it, you know, to your hair. Or if you're like me with no hair, you can carry it further back so that it looks like it's tied on or that it's a fabric piece. Now, in the title for this, I put, you know, kid and sensory issue friendly. Because, let's be real, we probably all know some people or some kids who are not thrilled with having an actual piece of fabric stuck on their face. It interferes with, you know, your peripheral vision, can make it hard to walk, just doesn't feel good necessarily to have something attached to your face. Even something as small as a standard pick it up at the costume shop little domino mask. And those are, you know, pretty minimal. But if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. And if you don't like the feel, you don't like the feel. This is a definite alternative to doing that. The other thing is, with something like this, you're not going to have sweat building up under your eyes, getting caught in the mask. You're not going to have the mask turn loose at some point and fall off. You don't have to worry about the mask not fitting. My eyes are actually fairly close together in comparison to a lot of other people. And the masks I sometimes have a problem with. And I sometimes end up having to get a child's mask and putting a longer string on it to get it to fit across my nose so I can look out the eye holes. But then it's really short on my face going across. So it's like, it can be really annoying trying to get just the right thing to just, you know, work. So, this takes a lot of that out. And it doesn't matter what you do for your makeup for the rest of it. What do you want to do? What do you want to look like? Like I said, you could take a black lipstick, you know, one of the black liquid lips that comes, that does the matte thing. You could take a black lipstick and do this. 
I've got a blue mat I could have done this with. But you see, this is one of my older bases that I use for doing my eyes. And I've already got the replacement for this. So, you know, if I go through quite a bit of this, it's not as big a deal. What you want to do, though, with yours, it's up to you. But like, I've got that matte liquid lip that's in, I've got it in gray. So, you know, I've got the blue, I've got the gray. This is a matte liquid lip that I've got on. I could do it in red. It all depends on what I'm trying to do. Who I want to be this time. About this too. This is another thing. If you've got a little kid who is not thrilled with having a mask on their face, wouldn't this be easier? Or you've got a kid who's going to be going out walking the neighborhood with their little friends, wouldn't you rather them to be able to use their vision? see cars coming, see where they're going so they don't trip, be able to keep an eye on themselves and their friends without having to worry about whether or not they can actually see what's coming at them. Now, from this point, you can do decorations on this. I mean, think about it. Just pick up a little brush of some sort, stick it in something. If you want it to be shiny, let's pick this one up. This is from... from a highlighter palette. pick up something that goes with the rest of your costume. It doesn't have to match your makeup. I mean, this has got a green reflect to it. This is not, you know, matching in with all the pinks and the purples and stuff. At least this one doesn't. See what else I've got here. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's got some silver to it on top of everything else. You can do something like this that's got more of a metallic look to it. 
in this silver. It all depends on what you want it to look like. Go through your stash. Look and see what you've got to play with. You can shine up stuff even if it's a darker shade like that blue matte lipstick I've got. You could still put some of this on it while it's still a little bit damp and get little metallic highlights into it. It doesn't have to be dull and boring. Now, if you want the mask to kind of sit up a little bit so that it looks like kind of more three-dimensional. All you need is some matte browns to play with, mostly. Take a little bit of a matte brown and kind of run it along the edge to create a shadow. It'll make it stand out just a little bit so it doesn't look quite so flat. You can take other colors if you want and put folds in the fabric if you want it to look like a satin mask that's been tied on. Just to give it a little bit of an edge. Now, this is a trick that I learned partially from messing with stage makeup and partially from doing Phantom of the Mask, which was something that I saw Nikki Tutorials do. I don't remember if she's the one who originated it. I don't think so, but she did such a lovely job. So then I did one. That was last Halloween. And basically I painted a mask that had the makeup in the mask and the rest of my face was bare. But I had the brown outline so that it looked like it stood away from my skin. <clears throat> I got a lot of people in my town going, what the heck? When I was walking around with my grandkids. We did the Main Street stroll last year. And the kids got candy from all the businesses and I got oddball looks from a lot of people <laughs> because they were trying to figure the mask out. And they're going, how did you? Oh, let me explain. And then I'm taking just a little bit darker than the one that I put under and kind of going around the edge of where my eyes peek through.
and people will look at this and go, oh wow, that's a really neat mask. How did you do that? If it's somebody that you don't want to tell the secret to, just look at them and smile and wander on. If it's somebody you don't mind sharing with, sit down somewhere and have a cup of hot cider and discuss techniques. Kind of draw that brown out just a bit here for the, where it pushes in next to the nose. Now, if you're looking at all this and going, I can't do that, I can't draw a straight line, neither can I. Besides, most of this isn't straight lines. The way it works in art is if you think it looks straight enough, it is. You don't have to do. This is not a mechanical drawing that is going to cause somebody great harm if you don't get the measurements per precise you're not you're you're outlining some makeup you're not designing an airplane or a car or anything like that If you're worried about how it's going to come out, practice a few times. Nobody says you shouldn't. You know, you can put the stuff on and take it off and put it on. and You don't have to do your full makeup just to practice putting the mask piece on. You don't. You don't even have to put the full mask piece on just to practice the outlining. You can do that with a small patch. The only thing I would suggest is practicing in front of a mirror instead of just outlining on your arm because it's going to look different. If you're just looking straight down at your arm, it's a whole different view than trying to see it backwards in the mirror. And it doesn't really give you the practice you're looking for. Because what you're practicing for is to get your eye line, get your lines right. Excuse me. My little dog was needing a little attention. But you're practicing to get your lines right on your face. And you're not going to get them right on your face unless you're practicing on your face. Now, if you're thinking about doing it on your kid, yeah. You can practice on your arm because you're going to be looking at the kid and doing it this way. If you're doing it for yourself, you need to go this way. Now, 
Yes, I checked in the viewfinder to see it, see how it looks. What do you think? Time to go trick-or-treating? Time to go out and play? Oh, really? Tell me what you think. And then go check out Ms. Bree. You have to go see Bree. Do you understand me? Just, just go. Go. Or no treats. Anyway. Happy Halloween. Be good. Boo.